Hey, this is Brandon coming back to you. Uh, we are at the home in North Portland uh, that we're currently dealing with a skunk. Um, skunks are actually really good diggers uh, as well as um, uh, quite the nuisance animal. Um, in this case, from the previous video, we installed this screen with a flap that lets the animal come out. Okay, and then we put some cayenne pepper here in the hole. So we came back and checked our video. Uh, we've had some cats. We've had a skunk come around from the other side of the house and check this area out. Uh, he, uh, we, uh, as I'll show you on video, uh, has decided that this is not the place for him, at least on this side. So as a temporary block, uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add this cinder block onto the screen right now. Um, that cinder block will actually uh, ensure that no other animal goes in while we finish the job here on the other side. Okay, uh, here we are on the other side of the house. As you can see, we've got our camera uh, motion activated with uh, infrared, so it's heat, de heat detecting. Um, the, the last visit, uh, one of the things that we did just to see if an animal was coming in and out of here is we've actually put some cayenne pepper down on the ground. So as you can see, this belongs to the skunk right here, this hair. Yeah, so I see. I found so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do over here what we did on the other side. We're gonna put a bunch of cayenne pepper here. Okay, this will let the animal out. We did see the, the skunk come out on camera, uh, walk around. He actually didn't go back in that night. He came in the night afterwards. Um, so you can see some of the remnants of the cayenne pepper right here mixed in with the dirt. So we're gonna make sure that that is completely saturated, um, making the animal very irritated, uh, creating a little bit of a burning sensation on the stomach. Um, this is probably the most humane thing that you can do outside of trapping him. And then of course you gotta take him out and euthanize or, or shoot the animal. So at least this way the animal gets to live. What we'll do is uh, we'll then cover this back up with a cinder block, okay? Making the animal have to get on his belly and uh, unable to avoid the cayenne pepper. So we'll put a little bit on this ground right here, but then also uh, sprinkle some into the actual under part of the foundation. So again, got a little handful right here. It's gonna go inside. So this is kind of a, it's humane as far as if the only other option is not to kill. about six handfuls right there okay and now we're gonna put the cinder block sideways this means that he has to push the cinder block out it'll then fall over like this and then he'll run through the rest of it so because we're gonna put the cinder block down here we're also gonna put some cayenne pepper over here so it kind of mounds up and then also over here doing the same thing that way, no matter which way the cinder block goes, the pepper will drop back into the dirt. And of course, when you're dealing with an animal that can spray you or potentially bite you like a raccoon would, uh, you always want to use a camera. Uh, these methods, uh, you don't want to be guessing as to whether or not he's out. So anyhow, we will be back in a few days and let you know how this concludes. This is Brandon Clark with Get Smart Rat Solutions reminding you that in order to be smart, you have to get smart. Thank you.